What's going on? It's me here, chilling out, Max. Now doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Xbox One S. Let's go. You're looking at it right now. Now the Xbox One S has been revealed at E3 to be the newest Xbox One coming out with the newest technology. This thing honestly looks like somebody had the idea for it, and while they were running away, they got the shit shot out of them. That's where all the holes are in there. Now, the Xbox S and the Project Scorpio, which is the PS4. Now, the whole point of that is to take advantage of the new technologies with virtual reality and 4K resolution. Now, I think everybody was really worried about is, will the games on here still be able to be played on the original Xbox One? Now, they've already confirmed yes. Now, there is a slight problem, though. If you look at the actual disc tray, a picture will pop up in a second. You see how small that disc tray is, and I actually, like, blew it up a bit. You're going to see another picture to where it's a normal size. The disc tray is pretty small. I'm not entirely sure why they did that. They shortened it by lift and shortened it by width. That's why everybody thought that you would not be able to have Xbox One games on there. But the company has already confirmed that you'll be able to do everything on here that you could do with your Xbox One it'll just be a little bit stronger a little bit faster you can run virtual reality on there and this is going to be one of the driving forces to unite the console and PC that's what they really been trying to stress even before E3 about bringing PC Xbox and PS4 users all well PS users in general all together and having everybody allowed to you know buy a certain of the games and it working on the console that's why a lot of games that were on PC now are coming to Xbox One and PS4. Think about it. Now, that's just only the stepping stones for this. It's going to be very much interesting to see how things turn on E3. You can make sure I keep you updated on everything. Another thing, too, let's talk about the overall differences between the Xbox One S and the Xbox One. Now, for one, they actually took away that big-ass box that we have for the Xbox One. You know, that big box is so annoying. Yeah, they finally took that away. Now, that box actually started with the Xbox 360. Before, the Xbox originally did not have a box next to it. It was its own individual box, and all the cables connected into it. That was the Xbox original. Now, they're trying to bring back the design with the Xbox X. Now, another thing, too, this controller has fucking Bluetooth. Really? The controller has Bluetooth. What the hell? real big difference now this thing also supports 4k playing like i said vr gaming now all right y'all this has been your homeboy here thanks again for watching y'all peace out y'all and once again talk to you later